Kumar, it's gonna fall off the side. Good morning. Oh, I'm tired today. Yesterday was a long day. The collection video, as you probably saw, an hour long. Took all day to film. So, oh, a little tired today just from doing all that. I know it doesn't seem like hard work. But making videos is a lot of work. But yeah, so today headed to the shop. Omar's gonna drop this ball off of the fucking balcony, no doubt. Uh, headed to the shop, waiting on Ernie. Go check out the new shop. I think everything's pretty much done. So yeah, we'll go do that for a little bit. Come back and chill. Didn't notice, I don't know where it is. Well, we'll look at it later. Got towels dropping soon. We'll talk about it later. Oh, this is a good boy. That's my good boy. Hey, you're not supposed to bite the tripod. Can you stop biting it? Omar! This is really fighting. God, there's some weirdos around my building at night. Oh yeah? Like, just cause the train station's there. You oh know, yeah. Just, don't tell anyone my dog's a pit either. The guy's like, oh, that's a beautiful pit you got there. I'm like, oh, she's not a pit. He's like, she's not, what is she? I'm like, oh, I'm mud. Yeah, I used to have a, uh, um, what do you say? What are they, the fucking colorway. <laughs> The color, what's your dog colorway? Yeah, it's not black. Oh, it's not brown. It's brown when it's got the the waves in it, like the different. Brindle. Brindle. I had a red nosed brindle. It's obviously dog my pets. I'm like, I still don't know what you're talking. About. <laughs> you just played dumb. Because uh, pit bulls are illegal in yeah. Denver, I guess. Denver. I think I it's only the, Denver County. It's though. only Denver. It's only the, like the city of Denver, and which I think is Denver County. I guess Englewood's not Denver County, right. but but. None of the buildings let those. They saw them and they didn't care. Nice. But it's still weird because the leasing lady's always like, oh, you got to bring the dogs by the office and I'd love to see them. And I'm like, I don't want to bring them by and have her be like, that's totally a pit there. He has a big, stocky male pit, like one of those oh, monster yeah. looking yeah. ones. And that guy walks around and there's another pit bull puppy. I see. So like. Yeah, whatever. But Just because something's written into a lease by a bunch of lawyers. Exactly. Doesn't mean that, you that, know, like, the, girl the people working there. Working gives there. A fuck. Yeah, like, yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm sure you're fine. Sure, it's just a concerny moment. I know. Now I think I can't smoke weed out there either. Is the what? technical rule? Because my neighbor said to like, because the one day he's like, so what do you? He's like, what are you smoking? I'm like, oh, I'm smoking weed. He's like, oh. He's like, you're not allowed to. He's like, it doesn't. You're gonna let some fuck fucking piece of shit who needs who feels the need to smoke a cigarette every 15 minutes fucking guide you on how you should fucking act in this world? Get the fuck out of here. I like that. What are you talking about? Don't let other people's fucking scaredy bullshit fucking get in your head. It's my hardest thing. Yeah, well, fuck all that noise. I'm easily fucking made Yeah, tired, that's some bullshit, man. That's like, that's like, you know, on a path to a fucking golden treasure mountain. People fucking hanging up signs being like, don't go this way. Yeah. Beware. You know, it's like, no, that shit's real. That's why dogs bark. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to actually fucking bite you. You know, it's because they can't. Same as people, they're just barking and saying shit. I gotta draw the Houston shirt still. Oh, do you? Yeah, I'm going to somebody to go do it at the shop. You know you can take the fucking hove lane, dog. Hove, yeah, I guess. You just like going on the slow lane? You know, little lane. Little <laughs> lane, yeah. We I was getting ready to getting ready to reference to that mid that that life metaphor. My Jesus. Life. We need to get a dash cam that also records footage so I can cut back and forth every time I'm like, fuck! <laughs> Maybe yes. put like a little window. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm yes. gonna buy one. We yeah. need one. So I'm like, oh shit! Oh my god, Arnie did almost kill them. I like when people are next to me and they see me holding the camera. And they're like, what are they doing? Yeah. We're filming for catfish. I'm gonna start my own. I catfish. love catfish. <laughs> it's addictive, man. I, I'm just like amazed. You know, I'm that's always the thing. just amazed. You're always amazed. And You're that's why like... I think most of it's fake. But then, the two dudes, like Neen and the other guy, yeah. they're like serious guys. You know? They have credentials. But then I think, then I meet really stupid people every day, and I'm like, oh well, maybe, <laughs> you know, like yeah. maybe there is a reason why catfish exists. For how anything to me that's too good to be true just is. Like yeah. if, if I'm talking to some blazing hottie that refuses to ever meet me, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. be like, okay. Yeah. This obviously You're like, all right, it's Teddy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, oh shit, dude. Uh oh. Hey. Check this tat out. Oh nice, yeah. yeah. Big one.
did you fucking boy band your hair out? Huh? When did you boy band your hair up? I hear I'm sitting here talking shit about my hair. <laughs> we, on my head and say yes. I'm just gonna try to become a stand-up comedian. I feel like that's my next move, my next way. Next? Yeah, I want to be a stand-up comedian. So you, like, make like this bucket list. Like, right. Yeah. Be the next uh, Kevin Hart. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll be the next George Carlin instead of the next Kevin Hart. Maybe that's... Should be. That's... If I put that in the vlog, someone in the comments is going to be like, this fucking asshole thinks he's as funny as George Carlin. <laughs> Land somewhere around fucking um... Bob Saget. <laughs> <laughs> Burgers. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Yeah. What are you drinking? I'm gonna eat some mac and cheese. Oh, you gotta stay with the struggle mac. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, it doesn't look ready. Looks like you are in a zombie apocalypse and you just found like a, the dried a store. like astronaut food. You found one store that had some stock left, and it was know. that. It's gross. It just tastes bad. Yeah. It looks look at the cheese. Bad. Like won't. Be not chunky. And he fucking plays you. Our macaroni and cheese blocker. <laughs> really good. You know that dude Mark over there at the post office? The one that's like, how y'all doing? Yeah, yeah. He's fucking getting arrested right now. For what? I'm being drunk as fuck. Really? Mm-hmm. At work? Abby just went over there and talked to the manager. Mm -hmm. And I guess he's drunk as fuck. And his boss told him, like, hey, can you stop, bro? Like, he was like running around in the back being a hooligan. Uh -huh. Out of his fucking mind. Uh -huh. And uh, the manager told him, hey, I'm going to call the cops on you if you don't fucking simmer down. And he was like, you call the cops on me, I'm going to kill myself. So his boss is like, well, now I have to call the cops on you. So he did. And I guess that Mark dude, like, went running up and down the street drunk as fuck. What? I like, grabbed more vodka bottles out of his car or something. The cops came, they couldn't find him, they tracked him down, brought him back, arrested him, and I guess he like peed himself and shit. That's what Abby's saying. So the cops are like patting him down with like towels and, and uh, his fun. manager's like, yeah, you know what's the fucked up shit is he can't even get fired over this because it's all union, you know? Uh, like, yeah. If you can run around saying you're going to kill yourself, piss yourself, Injury. and all that shit and still not get fired, you, must, you might not want to like leave that job. Fucking hangout room, man. Vibe room, you know. Vibe room. Look at vibes, bro. It's a mess in here. It reminds me of the back room at Magnetic right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, that back back room. That fucking. Like his, isn't that where the threesome went down? Yeah. That's the room I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, girl. We used to get down in the tat shop. You don't even know how shit used to be. It's all cookie cutter now. Bye. Chill out. She thinks it was like me and you. And you. <laughs> We're locked out. We're locked out. Okay. Are you recording me because I locked myself out? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. Right. Nice. Omar. Thank you for picking that up for me. Appreciate it. Damn, how many fucking got Son, we got that beef. Oh, there's your ice packs. Yeah, ice packs. I didn't know dry ice. Those are beef ice packs. One, two, three, four, five. Omar sight. Oh, all right. I'm home from the shop. I got some packages. One is a letter and the other one's your packages. Let's see. Boo-boo's got Someone sent me some drawings. Nice. Uh, thanks, Logan. Appreciate it. Appreciate the letter. And then this, I have no idea. I don't know what any of this stuff is. I didn't get any shoes. Well, so shoes got delivered to the shop, but one pair was Sagers, the other pair is a pair of Y3s. And then we're getting ready for this drop. The wave capsule is dropping. So beach towels are dropping. Which are amazing and huge. Let me go grab one. Oh, yeah, so Boost got beach towel is on the way. These took forever to get made. They're super fire. They're huge. They're colorful. And 
they're not necessarily cheap, but there's also not a lot of them. So beach towels, if you're trying to get one, you can get one, they're 80 bucks, just so you know. But the Kith towel was 75 and it's one color and it's pretty thin. This bad boy is nice. So is what it is. Um, also tank tops and t-shirts will be dropping. There's the blue colorway, the white colorway. There may be some black ones still loaded or gonna be loaded, I can't really remember. But that's Thursday. Uh, what I worked on today at the shop was drawing the shirt for Houston because I'm gonna be headed to the Sneaker Summit on, I actually get there Saturday night, but Sunday is the event. So the Sneaker Summit in Houston, I'll be there because Omar is pretty much better. He's on his last last little pill tonight at dinner and then he seems like he's gonna be all right. So that's what's going on. That's what happened today. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. I believe that's it. Let's take a look. Poof Scott, enjoy these Solar Red 1.0 customs that I did myself. They're probably too worn for you, but. <laughs> so somebody sent me. <laughs> somebody sent me a custom pair of Solar 1.0s with blacked out boosts and a 12 and a half. They are pretty worn, but. Um, oh, even blacked out the bottoms. But I, appreci I appreciate the gesture. It's pretty crazy. It's a little different. It's definitely the most different thing I've opened in the mail. In a while. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate it. Uh, don't know that I need more shoes, but thank you. And then this package. This is a weird mail day. So this one, this is a wooden box. And Omar, let me open the box. Let me open the box. Get down. Go. Um, and it's from Greece. So I have no idea no idea what this is or even how to get into it honestly Let's cut this tape i guess i don't even know how you get into this box like this is okay so there's a hinge on that side so that means that this must just swing open okay so there's like a we got like a little thing right here, so pop that open. Oh, there's like a fucking cobra in here or something. What the fuck? I'm starting to get a little fucking scared now. Omar, what do you think this is, man? What the fuck? The hardest thing to get into. <laughs> I feel like fucking Indiana Jones right now. Oh, it's at an angle, that's why. Hopefully nothing pops out of it. Are you fucking joking me? Because whatever it is, it's still wrapped up. So then this is in here. Oh, I know what this is. I do know what this is. I think this is olive oil, believe it or not. And this is why the box is crazy, because it says, it says something on there, as far as olive oil goes, I think. It looks olive oily. It looks, it looks artisanal. All right, yeah. I mean, I assume that's olive oil, right? Someone tell me if it's not before I eat it because everything is in a different language. So I don't really know. All right, so yeah. All right, that's the day, man. Today was a little crazy. A lot of stuff to get caught up on before I go to Houston. Got some a tattoo to do this week I gotta get ready for. Omar time. Omar's feeling better. Let's say bye to everybody. Let's say bye. Omar, oh, who's getting huge. So, feeling better? We're feeling better. So, all right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.